Hey, what's up y'all? This is your man Bobby Washington, producer, singer, songwriter. Um, this video here, I'm going to show you guys how to bounce MIDI um, information to audio tracks within Harrison Mix Bus um, Studio 32C version 7. I'm pretty sure it probably worked in the, uh, the other ones before this one as well. Um, so basically, the first thing you want to do is make sure all your volumes are at uh, zero, so you can just double click on them. You know, I like that about Harrison. You don't need to click uh, shift or nothing like that. You just double click and they go to zero. Um, once you got them all to zero, make sure all the, the panning is to the middle, in the middle as well. Um, so you double click on that as well. It goes to the middle. And let's go back to the uh, track. So track view. So basically, the first thing you want to do is I'm going to do, you can do all of them at one time if you got them all set up. But we're going to do one first to make it simple. Um, and um, we're going to start with the keyboard. So the first thing you want to do is you, you, uh, I'm going to solo just the keyboard so we can make sure that we're only doing that one. And um, I made an audio track. So you right click, make an audio track. I made it stereo because keyboard should be stereo. If it was like a bass line or a kick or something like that or a guitar, I will of course make a mono. So I made a stereo track like that, right? Or you can put it on or whatever you want. And you can name it here, keyboard, right? Which I've already done right here. Okay, this is that audio track I made. So now this, I need to tie into this so I can bounce this MIDI. Let's open it bigger. I can bounce all this MIDI right here, bounce it down to this audio track at the bottom. Okay, so how you do it is, you operate it on. So you wanna press record on the audio track. You want to press the N right next to the record button, the arm button right here. Make sure you press that, if you don't press that, it's not gonna work. Um, also press uh, right underneath it where it says N. Press that and then slide down to routing grid. Each audio you create is gonna have its own routing grid. So, um, I don't believe, um, actually you will be, it's not me, it's audio connection. You'll find it over here as well. So you can find it here or on the track. Yep, so it's audio connections, but I'm doing it on the track basis. We'll come back to this um, when we're doing all of them together, okay? So, <clears throat> so boom, I got that right there. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the keyboard, um, keyboards are going out to this right here, the source, which is the audio track at the bottom. This is the audio track I created. That's the source, it needs to match left and right. So if I go here, I put left. If I go here and put right, it's still going to the left channel. So that, see the left channel out here? You wanna make sure it goes to the opposite, the right. Right has to match right, left has to match left. So left is right, it goes all the way down here. Then the right goes all the way down to the right. That one is set up perfectly, right? So when I press play, when I press record, right? And I press play, let me open this up a little bit as well. You're gonna see it recording right into there, the wave. So there's the wave right there, um, and that's how you would do it, you know, one, you know, one at a time. So let me erase it. <clears throat> I'm gonna erase it. Now I want to do more than one. I want to do all of them. I got 13 tracks. I need I need 12 more audio tracks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press right. I'm gonna um, gonna see how many do I need to be stereo. Let's see here. Uh, I need pad stereo. Uh, bass synth, no, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I just need one more stereo and, and uh, the rest going to be uh, mono, right? So I'm going to make one stereo track, right? One stereo audio track. It's already set for audio. I'm going to call this pads because I know that's the pads. Um, the rest I'm not going to name right there. I'll name them after I bring them in. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring in tw uh, 11 more. Uh, mono tracks, audio, right? Audio. Add and close. So now I'm going to name these to match what I want to be copied to. So pads, then bass synth. So I'll just go ahead and put bass synth here. Bass synth. Audio. Make sure you name it audio and put it on the pads too. So you know the difference when the back, when you, when you go to the uh, grid, <clears throat> you'll see it. All right, so um, then the regular bass. So we'll call this bass audio. 
Then we're gonna do the what's this heat up instrument? I think this is gonna be. Let me see what this is. Hold on. All right, so that's my that's my um 808. That's an 808 moving 808. So it's an 808 synth. So I'll put that there. So that's gonna be 808. That's also mono. Thank God I did that. 808, 808 audio. All right, then we're gonna have um, snaps audio kick and hat snaps snaps kick kick audio make sure I put audio back on snaps snaps audio um, and then hat audio. Right, and then at the hatch is woodwinds. Um, woodwind, let me hear those. That might be stereo. Let me uh, not solo the keyboard. Oh, that's stereo. So I need, I need one more stereo track. All right, so let's go ahead and um. Let's get rid of this one and make it a stereo track. We'll remove that and make a stereo track here. Add another track. Go to the bottom. Let's add another stereo track because it needs it for that instrument. And that's going to be woodwinds. Yeah, I put stereo because it's moving in both speakers. Um, okay, hat and snare. Snare audio. After snare audio, gonna be claps, drop, and shaker. Claps, drop, shaker. All right, claps, audio, drop, drop audio, and then shaker. Window, audio connections. And you want to be inside the mix bus tracks. And the sources are at the bottom. They should match the audio sources, right? So you got the keys over here going to the keys. Then you got the pads going to the pads, left and right. So yeah, at the bottom is matching the um the auxiliaries, right? You're just gonna choose. The stereos is left and right because they're, they're stereo, but the bass synth is gonna be one. I'll pick the left. We'll pick the left, right? Bass left. And then we'll skip the right and we'll come to the bass out and we'll put the bass um, in one, right? Bass in one. And then we'll skip the right, put the out of the AX is going all the way down to the, uh, to the 808, as you can see. Yep. So we're skipping in, in, in this one. Um, skipping this. We're going to skip the right, come to this one. Should be keys. Should be snaps, snaps, yep, snaps. We're gonna skip this one, the right, come to the left, should be kick out, yep. Skip the right, come to the left, left hats, should be down to the left hats, boom. Um, mono hat, should I say. Um, right, skip that one, come down to woodwinds. Now, woodwinds, where we need to have a stereo pair, which is gonna be at the end, remember? The woodwinds are over here. So we'll put a left woodwind, and let's slide over a little bit so we can see the whole. The whole grid so woodwinds have left and right because that's the only stereo but I made that later if you remember that's at the bottom the audio source is at the bottom instead of in the middle where it should have been but that's fine as long as you know what you're doing here it's fine so snare you need to go where we, where we finished off here right so snare out left we'll go to the snare at the bottom which will be da -da 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 right here right there boom right be right there and now our line is off because this wasn't in its right place, which would have been here. All right, so that's snare. And then skip the right, come back to the left, it's claps. Now we're on point again. Skip the right, come down to the next one, which is uh, left, uh, should be drop. Skip the right, come down again. And now we should be at the left, shaker. Yep, right there. So you don't mess with these. These are the audios. These, this is the same thing that's right here. So don't mess with the ones that say audio, you only mess with the ones at the top, those are the MIDI. So this should be routed correctly. We should be able to go and click um, on all of them. All right, so yeah, so make sure 
you um, press in, in, right? Press in on all of them. And I wish there was a way to highlight everything and just select this, but that's, a, that's something that Harrison can look into for the future updates, future um, programs. But we got to do it. Let's see. Tell you, it took me almost like six hours to make this track. Normally, like in in uh, Reasons or FL Studio or, or Studio One or something like that, it took me like 45 minutes, the most hour to make a track. Um, but it took six hours, mostly because I was trying to figure this stuff out, how to bring this in, and that's another video I'm gonna make for you guys later, how to um, show you how to like get your VSTs in here. Because when I opened up mine, my VSTs weren't there; it was just a generic uh, keyboard. Um, but I, I can see once I go inside that my VSTs were hiding in the back. But when I pulled them up, I couldn't see the GUI. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in another video. All right, so boom, we got it all set up. Second to begin on the track, they're all ready to go. We're gonna arm this. And when I press play, it's gonna it should record all of them separately. Let's go. Bingo. That's it. It's all there. So what I'll do now is copy and paste this loop all the way down and then start doing your, your drops and takeouts and all that kind of stuff and we should be good to go. All right, so I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, please put comments below and um, you know I'll get to them ASAP.